Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Sarah Murray here. I'm checking in from CAE in Dallas. Um, you know, I just wanted to touch base with you guys really quick. Um, you know, anytime I post a full-time job opportunity for our instructor roles, the number one question that we seem to get asked is, do we have part-time positions available? Now, <laughs> all the time. So I hear you loud and clear, trust me. So let me take this moment to go over our minimum requirements with you guys real fast. And if you feel like that you do meet our minimum requirements, then I urge you to go ahead and comment below. You can tag your friends and colleagues that you think would be able to take us up on this opportunity. And also I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below too to our um, where you can apply online. Um, however, but I do want to let you guys know that you're not necessarily applying for a position just yet. What you're doing is you're putting your name down on a list. And this list is so that way we know who to contact in the future if and when we do decide to open up more part-time and on-call opportunities, okay? So first things first, let's go over our minimum requirements. So number one, you must already have the right to work and live here in the U.S. if you are applying for a U.S. job posting. Okay, number two is that we do require our on-call and part-time instructors to be local to the facility. So you need to live within about two hours of our facility, either in New Jersey or down here in Dallas. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be your, your home home, but if you have a crash pad secondary, that's fine. It's completely up to you, but you do need to be local. Number three is that you do need to have an unrestricted ATP and a PIC type rating and a fixed wing aircraft. Now, we do prefer time and type, so keep that in mind for the positions that you do apply for moving forward. Now, but this is the kicker right here. So we require all of our part-time and on-call on instructors to be able to give us full-time availability during their initial training. Initial training can take anywhere from six to eight weeks. So that's usually where people have a little bit of difficulties whenever they're trying to get on with us for part-time and on-call, so keep that in mind. Um, once you are complete, with your initial training, that's when your part-time and on-call schedule will start. Now, to be eligible for part-time or on-call, you have to be able to give CAE a minimum of 10 to 14 days availability a month, okay? So, that's basically it. As I said earlier, you know, feel free to like, share this video, tag your friends and colleagues. Um, if you think that this is a position or an opportunity that you would be interested in, I urge you to go onto the link below and go ahead and put your name down on our list so that way we can contact you in the future when these opportunities do become available, okay? Thank you guys so much for your time and for listening to me. And as always, reach out to me directly if you have any questions regarding CAE and our opportunities in the future, okay? Have a good day. Thank you so much. So much.